All right, welcome back, 2013, uh, looking into January. We're going to start with monomials and factoring. We've already done monomials, but now we're going to take them just another um, to another level. So let's look at uh, 20x cubed y squared. Now, we're going to factor this completely. So years ago, we learned how to do a factor tree for numbers. So we basically do the same thing. We do a prime factorization of 20. So we would start with um, 4 times 5. Could have started with 2 times 10, but I went with 4 times 5. And every time you get to a prime number, I want you to circle it. So 5 is a prime number. But 4, we can take a little bit further. We can take that to 2 times 2. Those are both prime numbers. So in our factorization, we have 2 times 2 times 5. And every number that's in this factorization should be prime. So 2 is prime and 5 is prime. That helps me out. 2 times 2 is 4. And then 4 times 5 is 20. That gives me the number that I want. Now, how can I take x to the third power? I just need to understand what x to the third power is. And it is simply x times x times x, which means y to the second power is just y times y. And that is my factorization of 20x cubed y squared. It's 2 times 2 times 5 times x times x times x times y times y just a prime factorization of a monomial. So let's look at another one. Um, okay, 36x squared y z cubed. We already know at the end we're going to have x times x times y times z times z times z. Let's look at the 36. Again, do this a couple of times. Once you get good with it, you won't have to do it again. Um, I'm going to go with uh, 6 and 6. And then neither one of those is prime. So I go again. That goes to 2 and 3. Those are both prime. So let's circle them. And obviously this one is also going to be the same. 2 and 3. So now we need to put them in order. Um, we need to put small, uh, from least to greatest. So we're going to have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Always good to ch just to check it. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And then 12 times 3 is 36. And then obviously we figured out that this will be x times x times y times z times z times z. Okay, and I'm not going to read that to you because you can read that on your own. That is the factorization of 36x squared yz cubed. Now, what if they give us two monomials? So let's take, this is example 2 on page 471, 12a squared b squared C, again that's a B, not a 6, 12A squared, B squared, C, and 18A, B cubed. Okay, 12A squared, B squared, C, and 18A, B cubed. Now, we want to factor these individually. What they're going to want to know is what's the greatest factor, greatest common factor between both of them. Okay, so over here in the right-hand corner, we're going to be looking for the GCF, which we, whoop, I don't want to do that, which we've done years ago. Okay, now we're back to normal. Sorry about that. It's a new year. And let's factor that 12. I'm not going to draw it underneath. I'm just going to go ahead and factor tree it. And 3 times 4. Um, 3 is a prime number. 4 is not. So I have 2 times 2 times 3. Again, quick check. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. That's good. 
then that's going to give me times A times A times B times B times C. Now we're going to come down here with the 18, do the same thing. I'm going to go with 3 and 6 because I know 3 is a prime number. You could have gone with 9 and 2. Um, could have gone with 18 and 1. Uh, 6 is going to go into 2 and 3. Both prime numbers. So that's 2 times 3 times 3. And then we have times A times B times B times B. Now, we need to circle all of the things they have in common. Okay, so they each have a 2. They each have a 3. They each have an A. They each have two Bs. And they do not ha each have a C. So now what I do, they both have a common 2 and a common 3. So I can write down here a common 2, a common 3, a common A, and two common Bs. And if I went ahead and multiplied that out, that would be 2 times 3, which is 6, times A, times B squared. This is the answer we're looking for. Okay, so factor it out, and then simplify it. 6AB squared. And that's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow.